Hey guys, I thought I'd give you an update, <clears throat> video update on the uh, trophy boxes I'm building. So these are basically eight by eight uh, by seven and a quarter inch high boxes because they'll be on a three quarter inch base, so they'll be eight inch high. <clears throat> Not including the top. Uh, walnut boxes, they're built just like the Wood Whisperers uh, pencil holders. Um, used a lot of blue tape. Uh, putting these together but I just took the tape off this morning I let them sit for a whole day and I uh, want to show you how they turned out so Kaleo Kala yesterday posted on Twitter he said uh, the miter joint is underappreciated and it's beautiful and he posted a picture and I agree because these miter joints turned out pretty hot so you can see that I wrapped the grain these are all made out of each one is made out of <clears throat> the same board and they're uh, numbered I was using a big carpenter's triangle, but it was just like the world's longest triangle. So I just numbered them, you know, for box number four, four, one, four, two, four, three, four, four. And then I taped them and I, in order after I cut the miters, you can see the miter on top. It hasn't even been cleaned up yet. You can see, here's, here's, a, here's a better picture of one. It hasn't even been really cleaned up yet, um, but the miters are tight. And so, but I love it when the grain wraps around. Now the problem is the, only, the grain is gonna match <clears throat> on three corners and on the fourth corner it's not so that might it might be that corner right there because it matches here clearly right with this dark streak and it looks like it matches here right if you look match those up and it looks like it matches there so this has got to be the corner that doesn't match and you can see tons of squeeze out here so this must have been the last one but <clears throat> the last corner that got taped um, but even though it's made out of the same board, because it's made out of the same board, it's gonna look really, really good, even though the corner doesn't match perfectly, so. Um, but I got six of them, and you can see this one, you know, not even cleaned up, but looks good. That one looks really good. They all, I'm, all, I'm really happy with all these. Um, and I'm glad I kind of clamped them in that, um, that brace I put onto my bench, because it pulled them pretty darn square. And, uh, in fact, first, that turned out really square, right? I mean might be a little bit off but that's that's pretty good i feel pretty good about that so <clears throat> and then right here this is the remnants of my epoxy repair so there's really i ended up cutting off a lot of that and whatever it's still going to be about three thirty seconds of an inch of epoxy showing so glad i did it but you can see it got all the way in here there's one little void it didn't get into but turn out pretty good so so today I'm gonna clean these up uh, just sand them I'm just gonna wrap random orbital sand them I'm not gonna plane them or anything just random orbital sand them I'm gonna probably use my block plane to clean off these big glunks of glue and then you know some of these corners twist it a little bit and so they're not perfectly flat um, so I'll clean those up and then over there those are the uh, the bases of the trophies that's what's on the top of the stack and then the tops of the trophies, that's what's on the bottom of the stack. And those are all dimensioned already. All I gotta do is route an edge on those and make them pretty and glue them on. So that's what's in store today. And then I haven't showed you guys the trophies yet. So I figured I'd show you the trophies. So these are the trophies and you can see, it might be hard to read, but it says Le Leon Oriole Cup. That's perpetual saber. And this one looks clean and straight. Some of these, they really, I really bashed. This is the men's men's foil. I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm not a fencing guy. This is the women's epe. You can see they're kind of starting to get more beat up and more tarnished. Um, this one, I mean, this this top. Can you tell? It's just a little bit, a little bit cattywampus there. Um, but this one is the men's epe. And you can see the silver plating's coming off and stuff, so. They, they, they've used these things for 30 years. Oh, no, yeah, 1982 is the first name on this one. And this one is the uh, women's foil. So, there's six of these trophies. They're gonna go on to ni six nice wooden bases. 